Hey, hey, it's Jose, here to slay with thought. <laughs> Firstly, I just want to say, check a bitch out, out. My homegirl just got it for me. She brought me like a care package. It was really, really sweet. Um, and just thank you to everybody who's been sending me stuff to my P.O. box, bringing it to my house, coming up to the hospital, blah, 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 blah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all. I don't think I said it enough. I don't know if I can say it enough, but I really, really appreciate you guys. Okay, can let's jump into it. So today I wanted to talk about, like, the support system. Um, I have a homegirl who's going through, you know, the same situation as I am as far as transitioning and wanting surgery and blah, 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 blah what have you. And, you know, as far as support goes, she just doesn't have the same as as I do. Now, I, like I said before, I'm very fortunate to have, you know, my family back me up. And it, I'm not saying that it was easy to get that because it wasn't. Like, at first, in the beginning, um, you know, my aunt would come and be like, you know, are you sure this is what you want to do? I don't think you should do it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, my brother, he came and was like, this is a decision that you should have talked over with everybody else. We should have made a vote before you decided that you wanted to transition. Like, I've gone through stuff. There's, I, it, it's my fault for not mentioning the the negative details because I do have stuff that goes on. Like, this is my this is my family. And, of course, I want them to support me. And, of course, I want them to back me up. Um, and everybody just wasn't gung-ho about it. That's it. Um, my mom and my grandma always were, but... Um, everybody still was worried and they still wondered, you know, if this is right, am I in my right state of mind? Am I being crazy? Am I just doing stuff, you know, just because of a guy or whatever the case may be? Blah, blah, blah. it's just a whole bunch of different stuff. Even my friends were like, is this because of your ex and this blah, 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 so on and so forth. Like, it wasn't always like it is now. It took time and it took patience and I had to get, get to where I'm at. Like, my family weren't, like, in the beginning... Nobody was trying to work on the pronouns and things like that. So, you know, I had to work through that, too. It's a lot of work that I put in to even get to this point. And I'm not saying that the struggle is over because it's not. But um, I'm happy with myself and I'm happy with what I wanted to do. And even if before I even got to this point where I, you know, I'm post-op and where I got to the point where I, I already made that that struggle and that jump and that leap of faith or whatever the case may be, I was already happy Knowing that I figured me out. Does that make sense? I was happy saying to myself, like, okay, this is this is you. This is what you this is who you are, and this is where you got confused at, and this is what you were trying to deny yourself of because of such and such. But now I'm at a different place and I feel like I mentally made myself strong and stable enough to handle whatever comes my way. And she also mentioned, uh, my homegirl that, that emailed me, she also, also mentioned, you know, like, hate crimes and things like that. Now, don't get me wrong, that's going to be there. It's just It comes with whatever. You can be black and have hate crimes. You can be a woman and have hate crimes. You can be white and have hate crimes. It doesn't matter what and who you are. It, you will always have somebody that does not like how you live, who you are, what you do, whatever the case may be, period. So it's either you know, submit to that and just do what society asks you to do or be yourself, be happy, and fuck what they say. God forbid anything happens to you, but that's something that you gotta just, you can't worry about. You can't sit there and you can't ponder on stuff like that because there's risks of doing anything. Period. It doesn't matter what you do. There's always going to be risks. There's always going to be that what if this, somebody's probably plotting on you as we speak. Who knows? And you don't know. And it has probably has nothing to do with your gender. It has nothing to do with anything. They just probably just are really just hateful. So I don't think about stuff like that no more. I don't worry about who's on board. You know what I'm saying? It's like I worry about how can I make myself happier? What have I done? Am I going on the right path? I worry about myself pretty much. And I keep my eyes open. You know what I'm saying? I keep my eyes open. I make sure that... I know my surroundings and I know what's going on. I know who I can trust and who I cannot trust and things like that. And that's where it heads to. Like, that's exactly where it heads to. You have to be able to be mentally strong. Now, she also mentioned that, you know, like her mom started acting weird and things like that. And that's going to happen. Like, 
I have sympathy and I feel bad because especially when you don't have much family and, you know, your circle's really, really tight and things like that, it makes it hard when somebody's not on board. But you have to be secure within yourself and you have to understand what you want is what you want. Nobody changes that. You, when people, when I was younger, when they found out that I was messing with this boy, you know, finding out that I liked men and things like that when I was younger, the guys that I used to be cool with stopped talking to me. It hurt my feelings. It broke my little, uh, my little middle school heart. But as I started to get a little bit older, not much older, but you know, like a year after, two years after, I'm starting to realize, like, I'm glad those people aren't around because my sexual preference should not have anything to do with who I am. I was, I'm, a, I was a cool person when they thought that I liked the females, and then when they found out that I didn't, then I'm all of a sudden I'm just this horrible person. Those aren't kind of people that I don't want in my life. I don't care if it's family friends, associates, I don't care what it is. If you can't accept who I am and you can't love me as much as you love me prior because of who I am and what I do and what I choose, then you're not for me. And that's it. I don't care what kind of family member you are, what title you stand in. I told my family before when they were, you know, weren't gung-ho about the situation. This, I'm doing it. It's not a, I'm not asking for anybody's opinion. I'm not looking for anybody's feedback. I'm letting you know this is what's going to happen. You either get on board or you just buy, you left and it does. Period. Now, trust me, I love my family to death. And I would have been heartbroken if, you know, um, somebody was not on the bandwagon. They weren't at first, but, you know, didn't stay didn't agree with what I was doing and just kind of stayed away from me. I would have been a little bit heartbroken, but guess what? At, at the end of the day, I was going to be happy within myself. And I feel like my happiness takes precedence over somebody else's happiness. Fuck what people think. Fuck how people feel. Fuck anything else that goes on outside of your happiness. And it's, it, it's sad, but it's this how you have to be. You can't get anywhere in life if you focus on what others think and how others feel and if other people agree. Fuck them. It, guess what? At the end of the day, when they are long and gone, God forbid, anytime soon, but when they're long and gone, you have to stay and deal with your insides. You have to think about what you got going on. And if you aren't happy with it, then you just wasted your time. Now, as far as support goes, back to support. If you do not have support and you don't have people that back you up, as far as family goes, because that's where everybody starts. They want to know, they want to see their family, then their friends, and then blah, 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 blah. So if your family is not there, you don't have any family, whatever the case may be, there are people out there that are going through the same thing as you. Exactly the same thing. There's all these trans groups and things like that, and they can be utilized so that you can build another family. You don't, just because their blood does not mean that they're family to me. This is just my opinion. Like, if, if you don't have anybody, go get people. Go out there and go meet people. Go to trans groups and not even just trans groups or the LGBT stuff. Go meet people who don't care that you are who you are. Be you and people are attracted to a person being themselves. That's how I see that. That's how that, that's normally how that goes. If you don't have people, go get people. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. I'm not saying overnight, but you can do that. You have people that support you. There are people that helped me out way more than my family did sometimes. You know what I'm saying? In certain situations. There's people that came out of nowhere and did stuff for me that my family did not do. You know what I'm saying? So what I, what that concludes is I love my family. My family is bomb. But what I'm saying is there are people out there that are willing to help people just because they either gone through it, they have sympathy for the kind of people, or they known somebody that went through what you're going through and didn't survive it. Because I know somebody that, you know, she just came to me and said that one of her friends, you know, kind of killed it. That, that, well, she killed herself. She didn't make it because she could, she wasn't mentally strong enough. And she's okay with having somebody's back that is going through the same thing because it helps her feel better and she can relate. You know what I'm saying? Those kinds of things all play a part. So, and people like that are out there. So, just, you have to go out there and be you. And honestly, you will start seeing different results. People that send me care packages, some of them I do not even know. I've never met a day of my life. I've never seen a day of my life. But they're sending me care packages because they are, they, you know, things like they're, they're happy that I'm, I'm so brave. Or, you know, I've gone through something that somebody they know couldn't go through. Things like that. So, I'm telling you, there's always an alternative. Don't always think... 
that just because the situation went sour, that it's always going to remain that way. First it's sour, then it's sweet. It's just like Sour Patch Kids. It's just like it. You have to learn to be you and be happy with you. And I'm guaranteeing you people will come in and join your festivities and you will have a support system. May not be the one that you thought you would have or it may not be the one that you wanted to be there as such as family or close friends or whatever the case may be. But those people will actually help you and get you to where you need. Because I, like I said, people that I do not know had my back. You know what I'm saying? Even with my family there. But I told myself before I even decided to transition, before I even talked to them, I consciously made a decision that I was going to do this because I wanted to do this. I didn't discuss it. I already had my appointments and stuff ready. I didn't discuss it with them. I discussed it with them once everything was in play. So they know what's what's to come and what I expect of them as a family and as people that are trying to support me. And that showed that I was already going to, I was already, I already made my decision not based on anybody else. If you are feeling like you want to transition, if you feel like that you want to come out the closet and things like that, do it. Do it. Because you that was your first gut feeling and that's something that you wanted to do in the beginning and you should stick to that because if you do not follow your heart, you will be unhappy. And being unhappy in this cruel, cruel, cruel world, you will understand how bad it is and how like low you will feel just not being yourself. Y'all, I just wanted to quickly come and say this because I've been saying I was going to make a support video. And it just took me a little while because, you know, I'm going through my... I'm still um, on bed. Look where I'm at. Bed rest. I didn't want to make any videos until I was able to sit at my vanity and actually put my lighting and stuff up and go from there. But, look, I had to come on here because I feel like people are losing their way. I feel like some people just don't, don't know what to do and I haven't spoken on it. So, here it is. Um, I will be posting videos at the top that you guys have missed. So click on those to check the ones that you have skipped past in the past. You feel me? Um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Especially if you're a new person so you can see all the stuff that I post. Make sure you turn on your notifications, like I said. And yeah, my shit is pretty popping, you guys. So make sure y'all get involved with that. Um, yeah, any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, anything, make sure you guys email me. My email will be down below. Um, it is on all of my videos. So if you ever, you know, I add another video and you feel like you don't know what the email is, just look down below and it is there. My PO box will be at the, at, at the bottom also in the description box. So you guys can check that out. If you want to send me anything, cards, letters, if you want to write me, we can do snail mail and, you know, go back and forth and, and I'll give you advice that way. It's up to you. I have an email for that. And also, and you also hit me up on here if you're not comfortable with comments. Those options are open for you. Um, I want to just say that I love, 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 love you guys. Make sure you guys remain yourself. Stay true to you. I love, 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 love you guys.